Hello and welcome to join me. Please start with just a little warm up, walking around, loosen up your joints, open it and close your hands, and make sure you do everything well within your comfort zone. Anything you're not sure of, do it well within your comfort zone and visualize what I do. Be sure to check with your health professional if you have any doubts whether this exercise will suit you. And we're going to start after walking around, loosening up a bit. We're going to start with three gentle warm up and stretching exercises. Standing up that's comfortable, allow a clear, safe space around you and your foot your feet roughly shoulder width apart and you are standing upright but not tense and then we're going to first of all gently warm up and stretch our necks and to do it together bring your hands up slowly and smoothly then turn your palm and as you bring your hands towards you gently gently push your chin back and then turn and push forward slowly and as your hands goes down gently gently bend your neck to what's comfortable and if you like this is showing it sideways just a little gentle just thinking about pushing your chin in is good enough And we do everything three times. Chin back. And down. The second exercise, we're going to gently stretch our spine. So I'd like you to imagine that top of the head and the bottom it's like a string when you stretch as though you gently pushing your chin imagine there's a line between your chin to the middle of your head and gently up and your feet imagine there's roots it's growing so you gently stretch your body but not tense. And the next, we're going to imagine you carry that large beach ball in front of you and uh, bring the bottom hand up, push the top hand down, imagine the ceiling is falling down and we're just going to hold it up with your elbow slightly bent. Your other hand goes down, and here you visualize this chain to stretch your spine. And then come back. And we do the same, the other side. Stretch your spine. Remember, gentle visualizing is good enough. And if you're comfortable, little bend as you come down and stretch so we do this three times each side and if you forget just do another one so that stretching the spine the next we're going to stretch the knee and we make your fists sort of nice and comfortable without tension and put it below your hip and then turn your toe out a little bit and we're going to start with left first but it doesn't matter if it's you get left and right mix up like I do sometimes I'll do mirror image to you. So you step 
your left foot forward and then gently, gently move your hands forward as you shift your weight. And then come back and wait back. And then we do the other side. Knee stretching. Same way. This would train us too to have better balance. Balance is so important. And it get the knee ready for our Tai Chi exercise. But we do it slowly, smoothly. You are using part of the Tai Chi principles. At the same time, learning to feel, be mindful of the, how the body balance. Wait back. And that's the warm up and stretching exercise that we should all do before we start the Tai Chi exercise. Let me show you the movements. We're going to start from open and close. So I'll show you the first part from open and close. Do it very subtly, open up your palms, your hands. At the same time, shift, shift your weight to the right and then turn the left toe out just about 30 degrees. So let's do it again. Open up very gently, a big, nice curve. And the left toe, 30 degree out. And your right hand on top. Please follow me. Open, close. Shift your weight to the right. Open up your hands. Turn the left toe out. One more time, open, close, weight to the right, left toe out. Open, close, turn your left toe out. So from here, the next move, you're going to transfer your weight back to the left foot and as your hands, right hand move down, left hand move up in a nice gentle curve. Then you lift your right knee up. And here, your right knee can be just lift up. It can still be touching ground if you're not comfortable of bringing your knee higher, anything touching ground, but if you feel the force in your knee, bring your knee up, and then you bring your knee closer. So let's do from open, close, and then shift your weight and your knee up. Open, close, shift weight, open up. And as you shift your weight to the left, your knee up. Open, 
toes. And one more time. Open, close. So whether your knee uh, up, whether your foot is off ground or not, you got to bring your foot a little closer and then the next thing we, we want to do is we're going to slide your foot to the right and maybe a tiny little bit in the front, but it's a direction to the right. And if you're comfortable to the slide come from this inner side of the heel. So if you can bring your toe up and just the inner side of the heel touching the ground, and you slide it to what's comfortable to you. It doesn't have to be a long way. And if you find that challenging, it's quite okay to come closer and then just move a little bit further to the right. So that's what we're going to do with the foot. Let's start from here. Open, close. Shift weight to the right, left toe out. Then, as your right hand goes down, left hand comes up, your knee come up, and then you come closer as your hands grows closer, and then as you slide out, your hands even go a little more close. Let me show you in the front, and then I'll turn. Open, close. And then your foot closer, your hands go closer, and then slide your foot to the right or brush your foot to the right, your hands just a little closer. Follow me. Open, close. Knee up. Come closer as your hand go closer, slide out, and your hand just so even closer. One more time. Open, close. Knee up. When you come closer, your hands sort of squeeze against each other. One more time. Here, you can also see how you connect your Dantian to the move. Your Dantian move direct your hands and your legs so that they are well coordinated and as you slide your foot to the right your vision should be on the right so you don't look down but you are directing your eyes to the right then you make you ready to put the weight down and turn your palms you so put the weight down, put a bit more weight to the right side, then you turn both palms. Right palm down, left palm up. Follow me. Open, close. Shift weight to the right. Knee up, closer. Then slide, turn the palms, right palm down, left palm up. And if you feel strange, just put more weight on the right knee. So once we did 
uh, stain. When we stain up and put weight there, it would be a good idea to keep just a slight difference. Let's say roughly 60% of weight here, 40% here. And when I say shift the weight to the right, I mean changing the 60 to here. So you actually don't shift weight as much as Yang style. You shift weight just 60 to 40 to 60. So it's a very subtle shift of the weight. At the moment, the main weight is on the left foot. When we shift over, it slowly, gradually shift to 60. So we still have a very broad stance and very stable. But we're not shifting weight yet. I just, and then with your hands, what happens is, first of all, you, as you move your weight, your hands cutting across as though this is a knife cutting across a piece of giant tofu to the right hand corner and your left hand comes just in front of the dang tian below your belly button. Open, close, open up. Knee up, it's closer, slide, turn your palm, and then cutting across the tofu, the right hand, shifting the weight to 60% 60, 60 on the right. One more time. Open, close. Turn your palm, then as you shift your weight, cut your right hand across. And your weight is now 60% on the right, 40% on the left. Open, close. Doesn't that feel great? <laughs> Take your time, and when you get to this phase, then you bring your hands around, so your finger pointing out, and your wrist sink, and your energy is on the right hand. You're looking at the direction, and the left hand stay just underneath the belly button at the Dang Tian. So from here, open, close, open up, knee up, close, slide, turn your palm, cut across, and bend your wrist looking at the right middle finger. And if you're really comfortable, you can go just a little lower, but make sure you take time to get used to this movement, to develop the leg muscle before you go any lower, trying to stay as high up as possible. Knee up, slide, sink. Follow me. Open.
miracles. So let's do it one more time. So Open. Let's do it one more time. Open. Close. One more time. the vision. So when you turn, your vision is where your energy is. So when you turn, your vision is following the turning of the left foot. You're looking slightly to the left. And then when your weight shifts, you're now looking slightly to the right. And then as you brush your knee or slide your foot, you are looking the direction of your foot. Then as you turn your palm, you put the weight down and you're looking back to the left. And now your vision follow your energy. As you cut across your vision, follow your right hand and sing you looking at the right hand. So follow me and I talk about the vision. And then when you reach there, you can just bring your foot back to open and close. Follow me. Open, close. Look slightly to the left. Look to the right, knee up. And turn your palm, looking at the left side but don't look down. Now look at the right, brush your foot, and then turn back to left and follow. And then bring your left foot back in. Open, close. Shift weight, look at the left. Look at the right. Vision on the right, but don't look down. Turn your palm, look at the left. Then as you cut across, you shift your weight and your vision to the right. Follow the right hand. And then you bring the left foot closer to the right. Back to open and close. So, shake. Follow me again. Yeah. Open. Close. And trying to stay 
as high as possible so it's not too straining your knee too much. Open, close. Up, come closer. One more time. However, if you're quite comfortable to go a little lower, that's okay too. Open, close. So to run through what we learned so far, we're going to start with open close and end with open close, just for this lesson. And I'll join them with the program in the last lesson.